We have a question today from Emily, and it's got a little um, trick to it. Uh, Emily is an occupational therapist. She says, I'm trying to help one of my families implement this program uh, with a toddler who is 26 months old. The mother has stated that she tried a timeout chair, however, the boy will not stay seated, so she feels like she has to hold him on the spot to keep him there. Now, that's not a good strategy. So, uh, mom then reported she tried keeping him in the bedroom, which is a better strategy. However, he threw such a tantrum that he had an asthma attack. And we don't know if the boy's diagnosed with asthma or what, but he got very upset and apparently looked like he was having an asthma attack. Uh, do you have any suggestions for this mom for how to proceed with the program? Well, Emily, the, the first thing is uh, if, the, if the child won't sit in a chair or a stair, then we're going to the room. Uh, but the room here causes some problems, partly, I think, due to the boys having a tantrum. Uh, so one way to get around this and the kind of complicated medical situation is this. Uh, what mom could do is she could go to, uh, to the timeout with the boy in the room, close the door, uh, and do the timeout. You can do it with a uh, two-year-old, you can do minute, minute and a half, something like that. Uh, mom's in there with the boy, which may reduce his upset. Uh, no talking, no motion, you're not looking at him, you just sit there and stare out the window, stare at the floor, or whatever. Uh, he may still tantrum. Uh, we're hoping that mom's being there in the room with him will uh, abort that, uh, so we don't know what's going to happen. But I would try that out, see if that's more reassuring to him uh, for the time out. The other thing is you could put a, a uh, put the boy in the room, put a gate up on the door, and sit on the other side of the gate, and he's in the room for the timeout, and try that and see what happens. So uh, give it a whirl and let us know what happens.